Oh. Oh gosh, this is uh, <laughs> harder to do today. It's been um, uh, over two weeks, I believe, since I've made a video. And, uh, you know, of course, I know there's no need to apologize for my absence. But I do so anyway. I know there are a lot of people who count on me to provide information or confirmation that they are going through. Um, what they are going through is justified um, in exactly what they need. Um, and please know that in every single moment, everything that you are experiencing is truly for you. So let's see, how do I go about this video? Um, my entire family has gone through um, what society is calling COVID um, for the past uh, over a month now. Everybody in my family has had it. And my mother-in-law is finding her way back home and uh, she is not passing from anything other than her chosen path. We have been, she is, uh, <laughs> it's been a grateful, a grateful experience for me. Let's talk about COVID or disease in general really experiences in general. But when we are really sick, and I, I know I have said this before to you guys, and I really hope that you can hear this, and I hope that you understand it. We have to go through an experience. We have to go through an experience, and the experience may take a lot out of us. The experience can be so traumatizing. It doesn't mean it's the end of the world. It doesn't mean that things are against us. When we especially are going through an illness, we are especially going through major upgrades. Major upgrades. I had a lot of a lot of silence through the several few days of intense, intense intense upgrades it was let's go ahead and just say terrible it was terrible my experience was terrible of being that way going through my major upgrade and I'll, i hope to spend a little bit more time explaining the deepness of what i was going through and what you may be going through and all of these upgrades we really have to go through an opposite effect in order to become something else. The opposite effects, effect is not always pleasant. It may not always make us feel good. And in not feeling good, we have a greater opportunity to become. Now, I want you to understand that when, <clears throat> excuse me, when the soul is becoming, because we don't have the true soul. We have it when we are um, children through the thymus gland. When the thymus gland is still truly active within our bodies, the soul is intact. But then as we age and we... Okay, so please excuse me. I had a, a nurse that's calling to come out and check on my mother-in-law um, through her transition here. Uh, and please, again, if you hear notifications coming through, I really do apologize. I do my best to make great videos as best as I possibly can in my um, environment. Um, today is a little, a little bit different um, because I am in need of being available. And what I was trying to say is that the thymus gland, once we end up um, being taught by our parents, we're being guided by our parents, we're being guided by our environment. 
We are being guided by teachers, um, the television, things that we read, our experiences. That is what either increases or decreases us. That is what develops or, or, or um, takes away from us. And it creates, depending on the environment, our parents, teachers, and everything else in this uh, 3D reality, depending on what that influence is, how we're cared and nurtured for and loved, guided properly, we develop personalities. All types of personalities, several types of person, uh, personalities, multiple, that are not truly us. And that's why we go through this ascension process in the process of elimination. And that's why you have to go through experiences. And I mean, they could be very bad experiences. And they teach you all about who you are. I'm going to have to end this video at this very moment. The nurse shall be here within a few moments. Um, I hope to be back as soon as I, as I can. Um, my, it's important for me and my family to have this experience that we are going through and have been going through for some time. Um, it's important for me to be here for those who, who I love and um, love me as well. Uh, so I hope you all understand. I just wanted to give you a brief update about everything and know that I am fine. I am very cared for and loved and I'm trying to do the same for my family, my environment, and every single day. I think of you all. I am sending you all love and I am guiding you from my heart. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.